For today's workout, we need a PVC pipe or broomstick or whatever kind of stick that you have. And then we're gonna need our kettlebell. So we're gonna start with our first exercise. We have three rounds. Everything's gonna be 12 reps. So we're gonna go with our single leg row. So we're gonna start in that single leg position. So we're gonna hip hinge down. So I'm gonna curl that back leg. I'm gonna hip hinge down, loading up that front hamstring. And I'm just gonna pull from here. So I'm gonna go elbow to pocket. Again, taking your time on that one. We're gonna go 12 on one side. And again, always start from the top. I'm gonna curl that leg, hip hinge down, feel that good hamstring stretch. Then we're gonna pull 12 on the other side, okay? If we need to modify, you can hold on to something or just go in that two point position for that row, okay? We have 12 on each side. Next one, we're gonna work with some upper back and shoulders. So we have prone T's for 12. So prone T's. You're gonna make the letter T with your hands. You're gonna pull up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, come all the way back down. Make sure toes are tucked underneath, glutes are squeezed. Pinch the shoulder blades together, and then come all the way back down. You have 12 reps there, okay? Next one we have, we have our Zercher Good Morning. So the easiest way to get into that Zercher grip is seeing like you're gonna hug your kettlebell. So I'm gonna hug it nice and close to my body. So I'm tucking it underneath my elbows, I'm curling it tight to my chest, and I'm just gonna hinge down and then come all the way back up from here. So I'm squeezing, creating tension through my core, okay? And then we're gonna hinge down. You wanna feel that hamstring stretch and then come all the way back up, okay? It's not a squat, so make sure you get that good hip hinge pattern. Feel the hamstrings and then squeeze all the way up from there. We have 12 reps, the last one. You need your PVC pipe, get some good upper back mobility and stability. Uh, we're gonna go with prone PVC pipe presses, okay? So we're gonna go back in that prone position. We're gonna get an overhead grip. So pretend like you're gonna overhead press a barbell. Now, you can do many variations with this depending on your shoulder mobility, okay? So you're gonna lift up here. If you have tight shoulders, just go to the crown of your head and then press. Crown of the head, press. If you have a little bit more mobility, you can start making your way down to the traps and then press from here. You can slide it right behind the head. Again, this shouldn't be painful at all. You should feel your upper back squeezing together, almost like a lap pull down, okay? So only go as far as your shoulders allow you to go. Again, like I said, if you have tight shoulders, crown of the head is fine, okay? As long as you're still driving that PVC pipe, and then you can start going more range of motion if you need to, sliding right behind the head. Again, the maximum range of motion will be right behind where those traps are for 12 reps and we got three rounds of that.